हेलो एवरीवन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस येट अनदर इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक व्हिच इज द डार्क साइड ऑफ द स्टॉक मार्केट सो फ्रॉम द टॉपिक इट सेल्फ द नॉर्मन क्लेचर दैट द डार्क साइड सो यू वुड बी नोइंग दैट देर आर लॉट ऑफ इल हैपनिंग्स इन द स्टॉक मार्केट इंडस्ट्री सो आई थॉट लाइक आई विल ट्राई टू कवर सम ऑफ द dark sided things which is happening in the market and maybe it will help you in not getting into such traps and probably saving your investments so as you all know why there is a stock market so the stock market is for companies to get money from the so called investors for them to invest in their business and uh, start a business so regarding stock market regarding ipo i have very well explained in my earlier session session number 30 also how a stock market works this i have very clearly explained in my earlier video session number 16 16 so starting with one of the dark side of the stock market is stock manipulation so stock manipulation involves n number of activities of which the famous one is pump and dump scheme now the opposite side of pump and dump is short and distort so this is like short selling like you already if you are a trader you are you will be aware of what is short selling so you will bet the company will crash in its price the stock will crash in its price so you will sell at a higher value and then buy at a lower price so that is what is short selling so again this is based on some insider information and uh, pump and dump scheme we will be discussing in detail about the pump and dump scheme soon another thing is insider information so if there is a merger news if there is a stock selling news ceo resigning or uh, getting into new investments or selling of some subsidiary so there are n number of insider information so this insider information will be available only with the company employees or senior management so some leak this information to the market and by the time the market prices in people who already are aware of such activities would have either sold or bought into the stock and taking uh, illegal advantage of the price movement so again this is illegal but yes insider information is one way of manipulating the stock market another thing in the stock market is that the stock would be listed but what product they are selling or what are they manufacturing it can be liquor it can be a plant which is emitting large amount of emissions into the environment and destroying our mother nature like highly polluting substances or uh, maybe they are manufacturing cigar the cigarettes or even just as a joke i would say some companies who are manufacturing pure sugar water so i need not name the company here but again they are so much branded well that uh, people invest in them and they do consume such sugar water and make the company profitable though such companies doesn't value add to the economic growth or to the upliftment of the good economy still they make money so they boost the stock price and even the products of these stocks by branding by various ads bringing in superstars etc so people especially the retailers fall for such activities and they invest in them and they also buy the product so mainly such activities are seen in micro caps or so called penny caps also wherein the price is very low and they try to pump it and Uh, make the value of that stock go so much high and whoever wants to book the profit including the promoters get out of the stock and the retailers get trapped in that so another way is that media media plays a important role in this so they are given money to defame a particular organization so once it is defamed then investors lose uh, interest in that confidence in that and they sell the stock and it goes so much down so again the short selling uh, strategy is used by such uh, people 
and uh, the defaming will lead to a huge crash in the stock price and again the short sellers will be benefited from that also uh, a competitor company in comparison to its peer can try to defame the competitor company so uh, such schemes are also available wherein a uh, both are listed in the stock market and one listed company try to defame the other organization through media defaming will lead to crash in the price and again the competitor company can take advantage in its peer company through the short selling so it not only kills the competition but also gains out of the competitor's price growing down so such are the manipulation in the stock market so we normal retail investors thinks that it is all fine uh, if you put the money then forget about it so putting the money and forgetting about is only for very good companies with good management so uh, if you are Uh, getting into micro caps like this wherein people think that you can make huge amount of money because it is in small amount so you invest large amount in that and you get number of shares large number of shares and a pr small price movement will fetch you very high returns but uh, this is also in the opposite case you can completely go bankrupt if the scheme goes uh, the other way so as i always say always keep away from micro caps or even the penny caps because such companies uh, we cannot or we will not know the schemes like this like the stock manipulation when it is coming in and when it is making it a bankrupt company now getting back to the subject of pump and dump so which is very normal uh, and uh, though the sebi the uh, investors watch dog the stock market watch dog do take care and prevent such events these days still there are lot of uh, loopholes they are trying to mitigate such uh, loopholes but still the schemes are in place wherein the investors try to pump and dump so you must have watched uh, earlier movies like wall street wolf of wall street these are all examples wherein uh, some stocks some penny caps were identified pumping was done into that stock and then later dumping was done so these are like artificial inflation of penny cap stocks in the wolf of wall street jordan belfort tries to inflate the stock price by giving wrong statements or misguiding statements and it uh, he tries to pump the investors money into that stock and Uh, taking it high and then later uh, taking the advantage of selling it at a higher price and then taking away the poor retailers money away another example is a company which was listed long back in us which is enron corporation they showed false profit in their books and uh, based on this false uh, fabricated profit the stock price had gone very high but the company executives were really busy selling their stocks in the open market and promoters like uh, were selling out of the market uh, because they knew that once the reality comes into the picture then uh, they will be caught and the market will price it price it in and the stock price will be plunging so they made lot of money out of that so the company executive were really busy selling the Uh, stock in the open market to the poor public so the retail investors uh, looking at the figures were very happy and they were buying it uh, and the promoters were benefited out of this stock manipulation so again why such pump and dump schemes or short selling schemes are going on in penny caps is because less information is available in the market about such penny cap stocks and also with small amount of money large amount of uh, stocks can be Uh, bought in penny caps and also a small price movement can uh, fetch greater amount of uh, returns so by the time the common men uh, know about the real scenario uh, the promoters would have sold off all their stakes and they would have uh, profited from the uh, stock manipulation so how a pump and dump scheme works is like promoters uh, with their large amount of capital uh, buys into this a particular penny cap which they are owning and they will increase the price to very high levels so they will enter the uh, penny cap which they hold or they own uh, in large volumes so in the market you can see there are 
bulk deals happening so this bulk buying uh, it will be projected like there is huge demand for this stock that is why these large volumes are happening and people are, uh, the prom uh, the people especially the promoters are entering into that stock so due to this uh, illiquidity uh, the stock can even uh, touch the upper circuit limit and it can trigger a upper circuit in the market now the so called operators the stock market manipulators so the operators the paid operators start their work now they will project as if the stock is available so much cheap at all time low and the stock has got huge upside potential you will not be able to enter into the stock later so such things will be spread in the market uh, especially among the uh, retail investors who doesn't know much about the stock and they just close their eyes and buy based on such rumors so there are ways and means by which these operators work so they may message you through sms they may call you through promotional calls they may uh, add you to some telegram groups and give such tips they may message you through whatsapp telegram whatever through facebook and also there are high funda people wherein they have media exposure also wherein they tell in open media that this penny cap is has got huge potential so so much they are paid so that they don't mind telling it and later on date they may come in and correct it so they don't lose anything but retail in we as retail investors should be very careful while uh, entering into such traps so they will only focus on the positive side of the stock they may also tell that there is some insider information like uh, the stock is going to have a joint venture with some big company some big company or some foreign institutional investor is going to enter into the stock in a very large volume so later on the stock will go in uh, price so much that you cannot enter or uh, some uh, capex plan they have planned there is a, a there is some turn around story going to happen in the stock so there are n number of things they will pump in so that they attract the retail investors and they fool them and uh, i am sure that in our community you don't do that mistake because you have followed all my videos so you know how to analyze enter a good quality stock but i am telling how the market works in a majority 90% or 95% people are like they don't have time for such things or analyzing and they just enter based on mere tips which is a wrong way of doing the stock market so it is better you stick to your sips and you just uh, invest through uh, uh, mutual funds wherein it is managed by good fund uh, managers and better not invest yourself in stock if you don't have time so once the stock price is pumped up with all this information so uh, the stock may hit its all time high then at that point promoters know so the operators inform that it's time for you to sell off so the promoters sells their stake in the company or even there will be large investors who has invested in this company they also if not promoters will sell out of the company at all time high prices and then the news will be out that this was some pump and dump scheme and by the time the retail investors knows about this scheme Uh, the promoters or the uh, large investors would have made money out of this and uh, sebi is nowadays very strict about this but still there are cases wherein this promoter still uh, go away with the the money made out of this so the question is how to identify such stocks and uh, prevent yourself from entering into such traps so you should be very clear uh, while doing the forensic audit the risk assessment the uh you should know about the promoters the company what they do does they really exist many times the company is registered uh, like they are having a plant in ahmedabad but if you see and go there there will be hardly any uh, small kirana shop also there so uh, it's like they have faked the address so you need to know uh, very much about the company where they work how they work what business they do are they really into this business do they really exist so such things management access should be there so uh, that is very important if you don't if you lack the data if you don't get the data then consider it not worthy of investment operate governance the annual reports all these things really has to be gone through so you may have some colorful annual reports 
having a colorful annual report with a negative cash flow and a huge debt or uh, hardly nothing in the balance sheet uh, doesn't make it a good company even though you have a dull annual report it is okay but if the figures are like not worth a look like if you have a complete huge debt and uh, no return ratios it's continuous uh, negative cash flow then there is no uh, point in investing in such a company i'm sure that if you are following my uh, channel then you would know how to uh, enter into a quality business uh, we as value investors enter into a company at a lower valuation so it is not the current market price or the value of it uh, is so cheap uh, makes it a uh, space for investment uh, we always have discussed that the uh, cheapness comes from the uh, good quality company available at a lower valuation so it's not the stock price but what you get in that stock price is more important so uh, once you analyze all these uh, corporate governance annual reports uh, return ratios company management uh, then uh, what they do and what are their prospects what have they, have they done good in the past their earnings calls so all these things once you analyze and if you are uh, uh, convinced about that then only you should enter such a stock somebody putting a sms or uh, uh, putting a message on telegram doesn't make that stock to be eligible for investment so your due diligence and your analysis detail analysis about that stock is very much important so uh, if you have been following my group or my uh, video videos then i am sure that uh, you will not make that mistake of entering into a penny cap so hope this uh, session was really helpful to you if you like it do like and subscribe to my channel happy investing